Down here is your tempo. Now this is separate from the conductor track. This is basically to set a master tempo for the session. So all you have to do is click on the number here, type it in, hit enter, and now you can see my tempo is set at 60 BPM. Now let's talk about how you would find tempo in Pro Tools. There's two ways. There's a simple way and a very complicated way. The first easy way is to click on the number, play your song, and tap the T key. Basically, you want to just tap one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If your song is in four, four, along with a song. So let me demonstrate. All right, so it's either 90 or 91. I'm gonna go with 90, so I'm gonna type in 90, hit enter. Now I'm gonna add my click track and make sure that it's syncing up with the beat. And it sounds like the song is 90 BPM, perfect. So that's the most basic way to find tempo in Pro Tools. Now I'm gonna show you the more advanced way. Method two is a bit more confusing, but I'll break it down real quick. So you're gonna to wanna to turn on the conductor mode, Make sure that you can see your tempo ruler. And then let's say I have a song that has a long intro, and then eventually you see a big kick drum hit or the start of a song, a big splash of the waveform. All right, so right there you can hear there's the start of the kick drum. All I'm gonna do is click right before that big hit, hit tab, hit the B key to break that up, and then I'm gonna count a two bar loop. Okay, I'm gonna click before that, hit tab, hit B to break that up. So now I should have a perfect two bar loop. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go Command I to bring up the add bar and beat markers window. Now you can see Pro Tools is showing me what's reflected on the timeline, but I'm going to change this and put in bar one for the start and bar three for the end. So essentially I'm lying to Pro Tools just to help it calculate the tempo. I hit okay. And then notice in the tempo ruler up here, Pro Tools has calculated the tempo. We have 89.9847. That's very, very close to 90. So I'm able to round up to 90 and now I know my tempo is 90. So all I would do after knowing that is hit undo because as you can see, there's some negative values in the timeline because I offset everything. You don't want that. So just go Command Z. So now that I know my tempo is 90, I can click up here, type in 90, hit enter. And now my song is perfectly on the grid. All right, for my next example, I'm gonna take a song that was not recorded to a click track. It's a human performance and it fluctuates in timing. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is known as tempo mapping, where we make Pro Tools conform to the audio so that Pro Tools click track aligns perfectly with the human recorded performance. So first off, a few things need to be on to do this. Make sure you have conductor track on and that you can see your tempo ruler. And then you wanna make sure that you find the overall tempo of the song first. So let's hear our performance. All right, so I know that's about 75 BPM for that performance. Let's go into grid mode here. Let's try 76. All right, perfect. It seems to be around 76. Now that's all good and well, but eventually this audio is going to fall out of time because it changes. And as you can see, if I zoom into the second bar here, the start of that kick drum hit is not exactly on the grid line. It's a little bit before it. So if I do tab to transit, you can see there's a little bit of a discrepancy. So this next method to make sure that Pro Tools conforms its click track to my audio is called tempo mapping. And this is all you do. Anytime you see the audio fall off the grid line, you're just gonna click before it and hit tab and then hit command I. And then as you can see here, we have 14933. Three. Now that's very close to two. So I'm going to round up or round down if it was closer to a lower value. And I'm just gonna tell Pro Tools, hey, that isn't bar 14933, three. this is bar two. And then notice that the grid line moves exactly to where my insertion marker is. And now it's perfectly on time with the click track. So now to demonstrate. Perfect. 
perfect. That feels great. And then whenever the song starts to fall off of the tempo, I would just do that exact same method throughout the whole song. And then eventually my click track would be perfectly synced to my song. So those are a few of the ways to deal with tempo in Pro Tools.